Hello students, this is Latika Nath from Summer Pangan School. Today, we are going to study English of Class 9. Supplementary Reader, Chapter Number 2, The Adventures of Toto. This chapter is written by Ruskin Bond as I informed you in previous uh, videos. And in this video, we are going to uh, study about uh, Toto, that is a monkey. Right, uh, how this Toto was brought into uh, their house, right, and how mischievous he is. All the description about uh, Toto, right, how appearance about Toto was previously mentioned in the previous video. And uh, what all things he used to do, how he used to uh, disturb the other people, right, that everything was mentioned over here in the first uh, part and the another part right even because of his mysterious grandfather has to take him right by train to his uh, old place that is the uh, Dera right why because just to collect pension of a uh, grandfather and the reason why he was taken because the grandfather knew that how mysterious Toto was right so now we are going to see the third part of this chapter, right? So let's start. When Toto was finally accepted by grandmother, he was given a comfortable home in the stable, where he had for a companion the family dog, Nana. On Toto's first night in stable, grandfather paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable. To his surprise, he found Nana without apparent cause, pulling at her halter and trying to keep her head as far as possible from the bundle of hay. So here, now grandmother got to know that Toto was at home, so he was uh, shifted to Stable. Stable is such a place where animals are kept, right? Such as cow, horses, or any other such kind of animal, right? Where he had a companion, and there was a companion with him. It was a donkey whose name was Nana, right? And it was the first night uh, of Toto over there in the stable. That is why this uh, grandfather wanted to make sure that he's uh, good or not, he's comfortable or not. So for that he made a visit over there but he was really surprised. The grandfather was really surprised and shocked to see that his uh, he was pulling his rope. Right halter it means it is a rope or a strap which is connected or tied in the animal to the animal's head or the nose side. Right? And he was pulling that to keep his head as far as possible right so that he will not be able to eat the grass which is kept over there hey it means grass right dry grass so here this was uh, what he was doing right again another mischief of toto right grandfather gave nana a slap across her haunches and she jerked back dragging toto with her he had fastened on to her long ears with his sharp little teeth. So here what happened? Grandfather gave a slap across her haunches. Haunches it means the uh, a but a buttock and thigh considered together in a human or an animal. Right? So and uh, and she jogged. Jog means uh, to move suddenly, right, back and dragging Toto with her. And uh, this uh, donkey also dragged Toto with her. He had fastened on to her long ears with a sharp little teeth, right. So now what happened? He had fastened, means uh, he went fast to her long ears. With a sharpened little teeth. Toto and Nana never became friends. So this way both of them were not 
ever friends, right? A large great treat for Toto during cold winter evenings was the large bowl of warm water given him by grandmother for his bath. He would cunningly test the temperature with his hand, then gradually step into bath. First one foot, then the other, as he had seen me doing until he was into the water up to his neck. So here he how he used to enjoy his cold evenings by a large bowl of warm water, right? Which was given by grandmother. And he is very cunningly test the temperature of the water and how he is testing just like Ruskin Bond does, right? That is putting his hand first inside the warm water and then gradually putting, stepping into one foot and then the other. Right, so this is the way how Toto get inside the water, warm water and he is enjoying his cold winter evening. Once comfortable, he would take the soap in his hands or feet and rub himself all over. When the water becomes cold, he would get out and run as quickly as he could to get in kitchen fire in order to dry himself. If anyone laughed at him during this performance, Toto's feeling would hurt. And he would refuse to go on with his bath. One day, Toto nearly succeeded in boiling himself alive. Uh, so here in this paragraph, what, uh, what is uh, Raskin Mon telling about Toto? That after uh, getting inside the water, warm water, he used to take some soap and rub it himself. And after having bath, he used to run inside the kitchen in order to dry himself, right, in the kitchen's fire. And if someone is laughing at him, means uh, after his seeing his performance of uh, getting inside the warm water, then he, he, is, uh, he will be very upset and he will not continue with his bath. Right. And here uh, Raskin Bond is going to tell another story about Toto that we will see. A large kitchen kettle had been left on the fire to boil for tea and Toto, finding himself with nothing better to do, decided to remove the lid. Finding the water just warm enough for a bath, he got in with his head sticking out from the open kitchen. This was just fine for a while until the water began to boil. Toto then raised himself a little, but finding it cold outside, sat down again. He continued hopping up and down for some time until grandmother arrived and hauled him half boiled out of the kitchen. So in this paragraph, what Ruskin Bond is telling about uh, Toto is, he once what he did, uh, that is he was uh, sitting inside the boiling kettle, right, which was kept for uh, the tea, right, by the grandmother. And suddenly what happened, he uh, get in, got inside the kettle and then he was feeling uh, warm inside and whenever he was uh, feeling warm, he used to put his neck outside and then again he used to sit. By uh, feeling that everything is cold outside. So he did it for certain times. And then suddenly uh, he, uh, he continued it hopping up and down. Up and down continuously. Uh, for, a, for some time. And uh, as soon as the grandma arrived. She called him. Called him and half boiled out of the kitchen. So here she was very. Uh, she got angry on him and she put it uh, put him out of the half boiled kitchen 
right so this was the incident which happened when uh, toto was there at their house right so here we are going to end up today's uh, part right so thank you and have a nice day